Hello friends, how's it going? Today I'm super excited to bring you the Tag Team Generations Premium Collection box. This box is absolutely huge and it has so many cool things in it. So let's just get right into it. Unbox just the stuff. So first off, let's take a look at our awesome jumbo card. We've got our Charizard and Breaks in GX Tag Team Full Art. This is the sort of secret rare version of the artwork, except it's not actually in the set. It's just a promo in the US, which I really like because then I have a chance to actually have it. Speaking of the promo cards, here are the normal sized version of of the promo cards. We've got a Charizard and Breaks in GX. This is the same artwork as the Jumbo, but still very cool to have in a normal card size. And then as a bonus, we get our Venusaur and Snivy GX full art. And this is the clay artwork that I love very, very much. I am so glad that they decided to ask Yukamori to do a full art GX. It's just so, so cool to see. Then we get a code card, so I'll put on the screen what we get inside this. It's probably the promos and maybe the coin too. Speaking of the coin, here it is. We've got a Charizard and a Breaks in together on the same coin. I love this sort of tag team idea. You don't see two Pokemon on the same coin very often so this is just really cool to add to my collection. Truly one of the coolest things about this box is this playmat that it comes with. Oh my goodness just check out how awesome this artwork is with Venusaur and Snivy and Charizard and Brakeson and then of course we've got Piplup and Blastoise to complete the trio even though they weren't all in the same set it is so cool to see them all together on this mat. And for our main event we've got five Unified Minds packs and two Cosmic Eclipse packs and you know what that means. This is the first box I've opened in a while that does not have have evolutions in it so a celebration for all for this one we've got lots of unified minds goodness to get through so let's just crack into our first one here with deoxys and espion on it i really love unified minds i am glad that i have the opportunity to open a lot more but it's kind of curious that they chose unified minds as like the main front runner for this box even though uh cosmic eclipse is the newest and most exciting set but we've got blues tactics we've got lampant dwebble muna pikachu bidoof Cosmog and your ringing bell reverse. I don't think I had that. And then our rare is a Medicham non hollow. On to our second Unified Minds pack. This one has a Darkrai and Umbreon tag team. I love that pairing. All of the tag team cards are just so cool recently. It's just. It's just awesome to see the sort of pairs that they create with these Pokemon. So we've got a Darkness Energy, a Type Null, Steeny, Azelf, Pikachu, Bidoof. Cosmog, a Magmar, we've got a Cottony, a Fletchling Reverse, and then a Rare is a Chandelure Hol Hollow. Now that is really, really cool. I love the artwork here. Sorry, I had to cut for a second there. My audio recording was getting funky, but we're going to go into our next Unified Minds pack and see what gloriousness awaits us here. I just I just love opening these new packs. Uh, I haven't opened enough Unified Minds, so it just makes me feel awesome. We've got a Psychic Energy in Electric, Reset Stamp, Heracross, Sunfisk, Gibble, Lickitung, Dwebble, Muna, we have a Dupider Reverse and then a Rare. Whoa, yes! We've got a Garchomp and Giratina GX! I don't think I have this one yet. Oh my goodness, this artwork is so cool. Wow! Oh, I love it so much. Garchomp is one of my favorite Pokemon. It is very, very cool to see him hanging out with Giratina, just being awesome and kicking some butt. So here's our next Unified Minds pack. Oh, that one opened real funky. Maybe that means that there's something special inside. Who knows? Here we go. We've got a Grass Energy, a Magneton, Bee Barrel, a Dewblade, Lickitung, Dwebble, Muna, Pikachu. Oh, I skipped one. We've got a Pitoof. <laughs> then we've got a Yanmega Reverse, and then our Rare is an Araquanid non holo I think that's the non holo that I have the most of for our Unified Minds. For as few packs as I've opened, I mean, I've opened a Elite Trainer box, so it's not like I've opened just three packs or something, but still, it's kind of funky to see that I requinted so much. So here we go, we've got an Electric Energy, a Dedenne, Lurantis, a Giant Bomb, that's a scary looking trainer card, we've got a Cryogonal, a Litwick, Jilber, oh, the cards are moving, we've got a Slackoth, a Fungus, a Murkrow Reverse, and then our rare is a Tapu Koko, and this is a Hollow, wow, it was hard to tell for a second until I looked at the camera, and then I was like, oh, that's a Hollow. Very cool artwork there, I love Tapu Koko, I'm not going to spoil too much about uh, the end of the Sun and Moon anime, but I really loved Tapu Koko at the very end. It was just a cool set of episodes at the very end of that, so awesome stuff happening in the Pokemon universe. We are on to our Cosmic Eclipse pack. This is our second to last pack. We have a Psychic Energy, a Pangoro, Heracross, Lily's Pokedoll, Togedemaru, Trapinch, Flobebe, Tangela, Duskull, we have, oh yes, so we've got a Torkoal with Flannery. Oh, this is so cool. I don't have this one yet. I have pretty much every Torkoal Pokemon card, so it's just really nice to, to add this to my collection finally. Oh, that is 
Awesome! I love these character full arts so much. And then a rare is an Embor non-holo. So here's our last pack. I took a second to clean up all the cards that fell down. I'm sure that the camera caught all of that because I noticed that they were in frame like right after I finished opening that last pack. But here we go. We're hoping for some last pack magic, maybe something like a full art. That would be amazing. So we got Lily's full art. Full, full force. Goodness, I can't talk. We got an Alolan Sandshrew, a Ponyta, Sunkern, Cosmog, a Psyduck. We got a Stoutland Reverse Rare. That is sweet. And then our final rare is a Stoutland. And that's a Hollow. Okay, well, that's cool. We got two Stoutland in one pack. This box was so much fun to open. We've got a Stoutland Reverse Rare, a Stoutland Hollow, a Tapu Coco Hollow, a Chandelure Hollow. Then we got our Torkoal character art with Flannery. This is just so cool to have finally in my collection. And we have our Garchomp and Giratina Tag Team GX as our final super cool card that we pulled. I just love it so, so much. So I'll give you guys a Cosmic Eclipse booster code. Comment and let us know what you got so that we know that you've taken it. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you all on the flip side.